G'day folks, it's uh, C-Pub Bunner again on a Sunday afternoon here in Overcast Queensland. <laughs> um, and I want to talk about a subject that um, called the Malaysian Solution by the Gillard government about sending asylum seekers to Malaysia in exchange for 4,000 asylum seekers in Malaysia or refugees. We know he's going to get the fuzzy end of the sick there, besides the Australian taxpayers. There's 800 um, asylum seekers being sent to Malaysia, including children, unaccompanied children. The Malays themselves do not have a high regard for human rights. And this is concurrent with leaked memos and documents that have just been released to the media from the government about. Uh, Malaysia wanting to strike out er any areas of human rights. Malaysia does not have a great human rights record. And it's only about 40 years ago uh, the race riots occurred in Malaysia in the nine, uh, what was it, 67, 68. Uh, civil disturbances uh, uh, have occurred since then in all areas of Malaysia. Uh, uh, the treatment of uh, Vietnamese boat people when they landed in Kelantan on the west coast, on the east coast of West Malaysia, and the current way um, refugees are tra treated today in Malaysia is not very good. In fact, it's terrible. In fact, it's abysmal. Uh, refugees from Burma, for example, can be picked up by the police for any reason and treat like a common criminal, can be taken to a local jail in Malaysia and be subjected to um, strokes of the rattan across the soles of their feet or back. Uh, there's no rights for these people, none whatsoever. They can be robbed, mugged, spat upon, have their possessions stolen from them, uh, they've got no voice in government, they've got no legal representation whatsoever and this is how they're treated. And when I first heard uh, about Julia Gillard's solution, the Malaysian solution, I just went, oh hell, hell's bells. She's got to be kidding. And that was confirmed with my ideas is when the memo came out or the, the email came out saying that Malaysian government wanted to strike out any reference to human rights. Surely we're not that desperate to send 800 asylum seekers to that sort of situation and particularly unaccompanied children to a place called Malaysia. I'm not saying I agree that asylum seekers should be coming here willy-nilly or, or um, the failure of the Australian, current Australian government to deal with the asylum seekers and such, but sending them to Malaysia is not a solution in the way I look upon it. In fact, I would look upon it as, a, as an unresearched policy, again, on the run. I get the idea sometimes that Julia Gillard just opens an atlas of South East Asia and closes her eyes and put, puts a pin in wherever she thinks uh, it would be... Um, they suitable. You know, like Timor, East Timor or Papua New Guinea. Now it's Malaysia. Surely this government can think of better things than that. And if you, you think I'm uh, putting a bag on Malaysia and you think my ideas are antiquated and so forth, then I'm not alone on that one. Because the UN... HCR thinks very similar. Most of the civil libertarian groups and refugee groups are saying the same sort of thing, and even the even the Liberal Party is saying the same thing in the, in the coalition. No, no, this is not. That's not a solution, folks. That's that that's desperation, and, and we can't be sending people like that, uh, asylum seekers, to a, a country as a poor. Uh, human rights areas 
and wants to strike out in deals any reference to human rights. That would be your first clue. You can't be serious about supporting this. Because I'm definitely not. And quite frankly, we need to find proper solutions about uh, asylum seekers and not sending them to um, an area like Malaysia. Something has to be done properly. But sending them to Malaysia is not doing it properly. In fact, I think it's just a, a policy of desperation. Do anything, try anything. But anyway, folks, that's my idea about it. That's my opinion. And i um, quite happy to hear from you. So, or anyone who's got a, another proposal or other ideas. So, bye now. Have a pleasant day and a good afternoon, wherever you may be. Bye.